So I think right now is a good time to tug on the trunk of the elephant in the room, and that is, can you use artificial intelligence to write your college essays? I mean, is it cheating? Yeah, absolutely. Is it ethical? No, not really. But at this point, I'm sure you've taken an AI platform, if not a few of them, for a test drive, and write me an essay is always one of the top features being promoted. So we're gonna test this out using ChatGPT4. And also, I say we keep this a fairly simple example. Let's ask for a one-page essay about procrastination and how students can avoid it. Oh, okay, I can see that it's generating headings to go along with the topics. That's pretty cool. You could use those to create actual section headings later on. But all right, here we go. We have our essay. Let's take a look at it. So it starts with an introduction where you can see it's introducing our topic, which is procrastination, how it's a problem for college students. All right, we're good there. Let's see what it has to suggest for this problem. So it starts by suggesting that you set SMART goals. All right, that's pretty solid. Then it goes into talking about creating a schedule. Next, how to prioritize tasks. Then to eliminate distractions, find an accountability partner, break tasks into smaller steps, and then it ends with a conclusion. So right away, I'm gonna say that's a lot of material for what is a one-page essay. So maybe what we'll do is we'll ask ChatGPT to rewrite this essay, but let's go ahead and remove the last three points. We don't really need those. I would rather expand on the first three so we have a nice, wholesome essay and solid explanations for SMART goals, create a schedule, prioritize tasks. All right, it looks like it understood its objective. It definitely removed those last three points and it expanded just a little bit on the first three points, not a lot, but hey, the paper was already too long for a one page essay, so this might actually work. Let's take a look. Okay, so now we have a five paragraph essay. That's definitely more in line with a one page essay. We have the introduction, which has a solid opening statement, which then transitions to what we'll be discussing in the paper. So that's a nice flow, which then indeed leads into those three points and ends with a conclusion, which also has a nice opening statement because it brings our mind back to the beginning of the paper. It discusses the main highlights from those three points. And then we can see that it ends with a closing statement by saying that by adopting these strategies, it not only benefits you as a student, but will later help you for future professional endeavors. All right, that's a pretty solid essay. So I guess now all that's left to do is make this official. There aren't any citations in this essay, so how do we create our references? Good question. You can check out this video about how to cite material you find using artificial intelligence. Oh, are artificial intelligence programs trained to avoid plagiarism? This is an important question, so let's test this out. We're gonna take the text from this essay, go to plagiarismdetector.net. We're gonna paste it here in the free plagiarism detector feature and let it do its thing. Okay, great, check it out. It scored 0% on plagiarism, meaning that it is 100% unique material. So does this mean we can submit this to our professors and we're good to go? No, we're not quite out of the woods yet because just as there are plagiarism checkers, now there's such things as artificial intelligence checkers. So we should probably test this out as well. We're gonna go to zerogpt.com because it's a free AI detector that has a pretty decent word limit. So here we go. Oh, that's a lot faster than the plagiarism checker. And as you can see, we scored significantly high for using artificial intelligence to write this content. Keep in mind, this is a free artificial intelligence checker. Your professor is gonna use one that's much more advanced. So I'm actually a bit surprised that this only scored 62%. I think it's because I tweaked it a little with the section headings, because if I'm being honest, I've ran this test quite a few times using 
other content written by artificial intelligence. And most of the time it's in the high 90s, if not 100%. I also wanna point out that there are AI detectors out there that won't pick up on the fact that it was written by artificial intelligence. You wanna be very, very careful with those because I believe they're set up kinda of just to tell you what you wanna hear. But the moral of today's story is that when it comes to academic writing, you still have to do the writing. Don't get distracted by all these AI platforms promoting that they can write your college essays for you. Sure, things just got a lot easier. They can help you brainstorm, help you with the researching process, understand complex concepts, so many things. But at the end of the day, you have to show up and do the writing. And you should, for so many reasons I'm not gonna get into right now. Instead, you're welcome to watch one of these videos next, where I teach you how to use programs like ChatGBT the right way.